Welcome to Can Geek Games and Collectibles, where we share our love of fandom while promoting new and pre owned games, toys, and collectibles available for purchase from CanGeek.com. Everyone, how's it going? It's Scott here from Can Geek Games and Collectibles. Welcome, as always, to the Can Geek YouTube channel. You're on the road with Can Geek for the week of January the 15th through the 21st. And today we're going to showcase another product that has been recently made available to purchase from our web store at CanGeek.com. Now, this is actually a product that we've been trying to get in stock since before the Christmas holidays. Unfortunately, it was back ordered. We had an order out there. Our distributor finally was able to fulfill that order so today we're going to take a look at Pictionary Air Harry Potter now um, this is for all intents and purposes Pictionary if you've ever played Pictionary before you're familiar with how the game is played uh, you have groups of teams. Uh, one team will be given a, a clue. They get up there in front of a piece of paper and they start drawing and it is up to their team to figure out what it is they're drawing. Now if their team is able to figure it out within a set period of time, they score points. If not, the opposing team gets an opportunity to steal and if they figure it out, they score points. So that's basically Pictionary in a nutshell. What makes this game a little more unique is that it removes the need for paper entirely. So, uh, it still follows more or less the same Pictionary rules. So you have your groups of teams. In this particular game though, each team assumes uh, the moniker of one of the major houses from the Wizarding World universe. And when a team member gets up there to draw based on the clues they've been provided with, they're using a device that kind of resembles Harry's wand. Now, um, when they're drawing, instead of drawing on paper, they're actually drawing in the air, hence the title Pictionary Air. Each person taking part in the game downloads the Pictionary Air app to their iPhone or Android device. And then as you're drawing in the air and they're connected to the app, whatever you're drawing appears on their device. So that is basically Pictionary Air in a nutshell. Uh, the game includes the, the wand. It includes 120 plus cards with varying clues for you to operate off of. Um, again, everyone playing is allowed to assume the row of a major Hogwarts house. And apparently when you download the Pictionary Air app, there are also different game modes available uh, that you can play for Pictionary Air as well. So again, Pictionary Air Harry Potter is now available to purchase from our web store at CanGeek.com. It is $33 plus tax. Uh, you can either purchase this online and have it shipped to wherever you need it shipped to, or you can purchase it online and then select the in-person pickup option and swing by our space at the Merchants Flea Market in Scarborough, Ontario on either Saturday or Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. to pick up your purchased copy of Pictionary Air Harry Potter. So again, thanks very much for listening to me ramble during this video. Thanks for continuing to support us here at Ken Geek. It's greatly appreciated. We'll talk again soon, but until then, be safe.